Everything that exists around us in nature expresses accuracy, order, beauty, and adaptation and presupposes intelligent planning. Observe the natural wonders, the color and scent of flowers, the birds, the spider web, the brightness of the stars, the organization of the hive, the functioning of the human body, among other magnificent phenomena. Could all this have come about by chance? It is through the holy book of God that we discover where we come from, what we are doing here, what the real purpose of life is, and where we are going. And the first words of the Bible provide the foundation for all that follows. In the beginning God created heaven and earth. But the earth was formless and empty. There was darkness upon the face of the abyss, and the Spirit of God hovered over the waters. Some people say that the account of Genesis is symbolic or mythological, and humans evolved over long periods or eras through a gradual process. This may have started with a living cell, and from that it developed over millions of years into the sophisticated and complex human system we know today. The psalmist David describes how God created the universe, and the heavens were made by his word, and by the breath of his mouth, their host, for he spoke, and all was done, he commanded, and all came into being. Referring to his own veil, God said, For in six days the Lord has made the heavens and the earth, the sea and all that is in them. The earth and life were made in six consecutive days and twenty-four hours by a personal God. The whole trinity was involved in the process of creation. In the first two verses of the Bible, we find the two persons who make up the trinity actively participating in creation. And on the first day, God separated the light from the darkness, calling the light part by day and the dark part by night. On the second day, God divided the waters, separating the atmosphere from the waters that spread over the earth, creating conditions for other forms of life to develop. On the third day, God established dry land and seas. On the fourth day, the sun, moon, and stars were created. The sun was to rule the day, while the moon ruled the night. On the fifth day, God created birds and marine life, each according to his species. On the sixth day, God created the higher forms of animal life, domestic animals, reptiles, and wild animals, according to their kind, crowning the work of creation with the creation of man in his image. In the image of God created him man and woman created them man was created by God himself formed from the dust of the earth woman was formed from the rib of Adam. After the six days of creation, God beheld his work and saw that it was very good. The whole universe proclaimed the glory of God. After the creation of men, God rested on the seventh day. God worked preparing a beautiful and wonderful garden for Adam and Eve. The book of Genesis reports, 
The Lord God planted a garden in Eden toward the east, and put in it the men who had formed to cultivate and keep it. Adam and Eve were constantly visited by angels to teach them and warn them of their permanence in the garden. Disobedience to God's guidelines, in order not to eat of the fruit of the tree of the knowledge of good and evil, would imply two consequences, to leave the garden and be subject to death. We reaffirm our belief in a personal God who created the universe in six 24-hour days and who interacts with his creatures, maintaining a loving relationship for the eternal ages. Just as the angels of heaven sang of joy in creation, all of us, recognizing the power of God as creator, can we proclaim, Thou art worthy, O Lord and our God, to receive glory, honor, and power for all things Thou hast created. Yeah, because of thy will they came into being and were created. Revelation 4 verse 11 Continue listening to the voice of God and learning from this wonderful God, creator of the heavens, the sea, and the springs of the waters. God be with you and until the next.